He's taking a little nap. There you go, you just nap away the hot summer day. There you go. Yeah, that's a snake. I'm gonna get closer. And <laughs> you run away. There he goes. Oh, you can't even see. He saw me coming and was like, nope. He's vanished. doing in my planter, Mr. Morning Dove? I want to go out on the deck now, you know. Oh, now there's a tip mouse. Oh my gosh, look, there's a bird feather down there. You can see a tail feather. I think that they're a little bit desperate for me to put some bird seed out, you guys. There's birds everywhere. What are you doing in my planter? And yes, I know I have an office chair on my deck. I need to throw that away already. What are you doing here? You are a little goose bucket. I need to go outside now. Okay, I'm gonna open the door now. Oh, there he goes. Oh guys, look, it's mystery bug again. Mystery bug, doing mystery bug things on my deck. Oh yeah, now I'm getting sassed by very angry tit mice. Cause they want on my deck to eat bird seed. Oh yeah. Listen to that, they're really sassing me out. So they want me to put the bird seed down and leave the phone out here to record them, of course, and go back inside. But oh, there was another tip mouse. <laughs> they're all over the place. They're just like popping up out of my planters. I didn't know I was growing birds. Who knew planting bird seed in your planters would result in birds? It's pretty cool. But oh, there was another one. <laughs> but yeah, so we just got back from a walk. It was really cool. We saw a snake, but I didn't get any closer to the snake. It was a really long one. I would say it was at least three to four feet long in the water. Um, and you know, I think it was just a harmless northern water snake, but they normally don't get that big. I don't know if black rat snakes swim. I would have thought it was a black rat snake. Um, but yeah, always a good idea not to get too close to a snake you don't know. So I tried to run up to see what it was and the snake noped out of there and like hid inside of the, the branches so I couldn't get any closer, but it was really cool to see. So Chips and I went on a teensy walk. Today is the first day in over a week and a half we've actually had our fevers go down. Some sort of virus that's going around that totally knocked us out, but I'm glad to finally be picking back up off of the ground of feverinish. And then earlier, we saw a ruby-throated black hummingbird. A black hummingbird with a beautiful ruby throat and some white on it. I've never seen that hummingbird in my life before. It was gorgeous. And so I'm going to try to get it on video for you guys at some point. There goes another tip mouse. <laughs> There's so many of them. But I'm going to try to get it on video for you guys by leaving the hummingbird feeder out. And then putting, what I do is I put my phone. It's just my phone I record with. Um, and I'm gonna put my phone up against the wall. I put it up against here and because we're like, you know, it's three stories down I put a little rock to try to hold it in place So I'm gonna leave the phone out here with the hummingbird feeder once the hummingbirds realize there's food here So far I haven't had any takers all day And it seems like the very angry tit mice would prefer if I would hurry up and put like real bird seed back out Oh look at my little tomatoes! Oh, the little tomatoes are growing! Yay! Alright! Oh, so cool! Also, today I opened up the snail mail that we got just from the last week, and there's so much of it. There's so many paintings and drawings, and there's just gifts everywhere. There's little creepers, there's treasure, little treasure pieces kids have sent in, there's awesome books. It's just amazing to see. Like, there's stories people have written and drawn artwork to show off. It's just so amazing to see how absolutely dedicated people are and how kind they are. It's, it's, I don't even have words for it, you guys. There's just so much of it. There really is. I have literal boxes and binders full of fan mail and art and letters that people have sent in. And then I have my own personal collections of stuff, like my National Geographic collection that you guys can see behind me. I've got all sorts of books and little goodies and treasures that I've collected from just all over the world. And I mean, there's more treasures. I'm pretty sure hiding in that little treasure box. And then everything on my desk, just to show off like 
the artwork people have made for me it's just so amazing and it's really funny because more than my own personal collection of seashells and like feathers from my birds and I have a wasp nest and a bird's nest on top of my desk I really do uh, I could show you guys in fact I'll show you guys really quickly all sorts of little treasures I've got Morel mushroom sculptures that I got from the Heritage Festival when I still lived in Columbia, Missouri. This is a beautiful, adorable little Christmas ornament. That's actually a Christmas ornament that Chips' mom got me uh, my first Christmas here. She's so sweet. She bought our Christmas tree and she got me a little ornament. Turns out, ironically, after I picked this out, I was told she also collects bird ornaments. I should remember that for this year, shouldn't I? I totally should. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to remember that. But yeah, there's that. I've got little owls filled with moss. There's my big giant seashell. I made these little steampunk creatures. This is actually a um, a wasp will infect a tree. And this is the little like wasp nodule that pops up as a result of that. I got a letter from my, my sister. I've got my hat from Katie. I have a really great quote from Stephen Covey who I love so much that says, live out your imagination, not your history. I have all sorts of like, <laughs> all sorts of gifts. These these are mostly gifts from people. All of these are gifts. I made this though from people that are right here. My games, just a small fragment of my games. All of these are gifts from people over here. This is my little shrine where I keep mostly stuff that my mom gave me. My mom gave me all of these things back here. My grandmother painted this. My mom gave me this cat. Someone just sent me this cat in and it reminded me of this cat from uh, Snail Mail today. I bought this at Comic-Con in Kansas City because I love this anime. I love Natsume. Um, and then Yujinko is I think the full name of it. And then this is from, this is Yarny! Yarny got sent to me! I need to do some things with Yarny soon. I've got little art pieces that people have sent in. I have my snake. I'm pretty sure there's stuff hiding in my snake. Maybe we'll do a vlog about that one day. I have a lot of coins. I've been saving those coins for years. I have the, the earrings somebody sent to me. I got this when I went to Epcot and was lucky enough to open up a clam. That was before I, I became vegan, but we opened up a clam to see if there was a pearl and I ended up getting two. I got twins. They rang the bells so loudly it terrified me because I got twins and it was super special. I have all sorts of little treasures, things that I have made, and then the feathers I've collected from my birds. I've got all sorts of little seashells people have sent in. I got these earrings when I went to Ocracoke Island with my parents on their very first trip of their marriage. It was very sweet. They brought me along like 23 years later. Uh, or I guess it was like 25 or 26 years later. Good grief. And then I've got little presents that people have sent to me. This is from Guatemala. My aunt gave that to me. Uh, all sorts of things. Oh my goodness. I really do have a lot of little treasures. So I have a lot of treasures that people have sent to me and written in and, and drawn for me and created for me. And it's so surreal because <laughs> it's it's not an ego boost when I'm like, for me, for me, it's stunned that our community has become what it has and that it's so happy and we've grown so much. And I guess I'm pointing out all of the stuff that we got, not to be like, look how much stuff I have, but because it is the fuel for why I am so excited for my office. I am so excited for my office and I wanted to talk about that on a vlog so badly. I'm going to have my own office. If I remember, I'll even show you guys like the one picture I have of my office that I saved from the Zillow like house listing they did. Oh, I can't wait. I would love, 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 love to be able to just decorate it and fill it with so many things. And the tip mice are still jumping in the tree waiting for me to put seeds back out, so I won't be much longer. But you guys, it's just going to be so much fun. It's going to be so nice to be able to have a space that for the first time in my adult life is going to be just dedicated to my creative efforts. Like, what? What? That's my job now? Whoa! What's going on? That's how I feel. And it's going to be really fun because I feel like it's... It, it doesn't fit right in my heart to get all of these amazing things and then have to keep them in a bookshelf kind of tucked out of the way in the living room. I want to display them. This is this is love from people. This is their creativity. This is their passion for what we have created. This is like their interpretations of the stories we have made. This is Jade writing in. Over here is a letter from, who's this from? See, this is from Cassidy. Here's more beautiful artwork pieces. I want to be able to put these out on display. Here's Sylph drew these. Sylph, who's so amazing that she's actually going to become a big part of our Dog Quest series. I mean, all of this is just, oh, 
you know, being able to look back through this, here's Ben's art. Oh my gosh, Ben. And Ben is such a sweetheart, and he's been a fan for so long. I want to be able to put this up on my walls. I want to be able to open my like binders up and be like, boom, there's the thing of the day. I want to be able to look through everything, and I want to be able to remember how important our community is to so many people so that every single day I can be charged up and fired up and ready to create more and try to improve myself even more. I'm not... I'm not here for like the number part and I don't mean that sounds like uh, humble bragging I think is what it sounds like to me but I'm trying to explain to you guys this is where the fuel comes from knowing that I'm inspiring by accident <laughs> so many people to love the natural world and to love their own hobbies and their art art passions and and just to try to study hard in school even when school sucks I love that so much and it doesn't feel right to tuck it into like the corner of my bookshelf in the living room and it just totally feels right to have an office where I can put all of that on display and I can honor what it's done in people's lives that way. I plan on getting a digital photo frame. I'm so excited. I want like at least one digital photo frame. They're a little bit pricier than I thought they were, but I want at least one really nice one and I'm going to put it in my bookshelf and I'm going to have it rotate all of the digital art. We have hundreds and hundreds hundreds, probably over a thousand pieces of digital art that people have sent in over like the past few years and we just get more every day. Part of my morning routine is trying to catch up with the 200 emails I'm always behind on and then I stumble on this amazing artwork and I'm like, oh my gosh, this person sent this to me like a month ago. Ah, it's amazing. I hope they know it's amazing. And then I end up writing an email. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm so late on replying. But I get tons of digital artwork too. So it'll be really fun. I want to have that digital frame, digital photo frame that I'm going to put in my bookshelf and rotate through all of that digital art. So that every time I glance over, I want to be able to look over and just be like, oh, look at that. Some of the digital art people have sent in. There's some pieces I seriously want to get printed so that I can put them up on my wall. I want to rotate the artwork that goes up on my walls in my office based off of like the stuff people have sent in in snail mail. It's amazing. It's amazing. And that's why I'm so excited for my office because it will be my own space to work in, but also be a place where I can really celebrate what you guys have created and celebrate the future, celebrate the present of what we've done, what we've done in the past. I mean, 3,000, almost 700 videos is not something to sneeze at. And I, I, I'm not trying to do the brag thing again, but sometimes it's important to stop and look at what you've done and go, mm-hmm and then appreciate it so that you can get energy to move forward again. But man, oh my office is really funny because the only things I can really think that I want in my office are to have a clean space, absolutely full of plants. I want bookshelves so that I have enough places to display all of the things people send in. I want to have um, my snail mail organized neatly. And then I want to have the bird cages set up really nicely. I want to put my geckos back next to me. They're in the bedroom right now. And I want to move my crested geckos into different tanks. Um, and I want to like really deck those tanks out. I want to buy like a little waterfall and things. And all of this is going to have to like be tiered. I'm going to have to budget all of it because my big goal is paying off my student loans. But oh, just the idea of making my office into a place to celebrate our community. I am so thrilled about it. I am so excited about that. I have to ramble about it. I have to make a vlog about it because I want you guys to know how thrilled that's like this big giant golden shiny star that I can't wait to reach out and snag. And really it's funny because other than like a clean space that I can work in and my animals will be happy and I have lots of plants, I don't really want anything like whiz bang fancy i just want to be able to display your guys stuff because i feel like that means more than anything i mean what are people supposed to do when you when you get a new office and you're like i'm gonna be fancy with it to me being fancy with it is displaying all of the seashells in the bookshelf that people have sent to me or being able to like see your artwork when i glance over the corner like out of the corner of my eye and look over and see the digital photo frame rotating the pictures people have made and i love that so yeah my office is going to be a celebration of all of this stuff and all of you, and that's why I'm so excited about it. And I'm going to go put some bird seed out for those very angry tit mice now. So hopefully they'll have something to eat, and then I will see you guys later. And I can't wait to show you guys my office when we move. We're about a month away from moving now, so there's going to be lots of moving vlogs and little snippets too. So, ah, it's so exciting! <laughs>